Good morning, my friends. It's a beautiful day up here in the north. Well, I'm excited to be able to show you guys how these log features work. Now, I can't go out and stand in the middle of the stream, but I'm going to do the best I can here. Oh, all right. So you can see, right here is one of the side logs. Then there's a log that goes across right here, and then one that goes up the other side. Now right here, you can see how the water comes around, and then it pushes the water back to the center. I'll zoom in here a little bit. There, you should be able to see how it's pushing the water back into the center because it has to, the water has to go upgrade this way and then it pushes it back to the center. We'll try and get a better shot here. Same thing on this side over here. You can see how it pushes the water. It has to come upgrade here. It doesn't like to do that, so then it flows to the center. We'll go check out another one. Stand by for this commercial break. All right, I'll show you. This one's made out of rocks. Uh, zoom out here a little bit so here's the main channel and this is coming into a turn where those big rocks are that's the side the turn is on so now you can see same thing the water doesn't like to go up grade so it pushes the water back into the center of the channel All right, right here is where they put the big long uh, mud seal in there against that bank. You can see how the water's just flowing nice and pretty. Stand by. Okay, so there's a log feature right here going up into this bank. I'm gonna walk up here and show you because there's a little bit of a bend right there and we're trying to force the water in towards the center of the channel. Okay, now when they built this one, so the end of the log is butted up against this great big boulder over here. So water can't really push that log this way. And you can see right there how the water's coming in, but it has to go uphill. It doesn't like that. And it's going back into the center of the channel. I'm going to walk up here. There's one right up here. We're gonna go up and look at that one next. I'm trying to give you guys an idea of how all this works. So if any of you are interested, you can apply for funding for it. Here's kind of a reverse view of the one we were just talking about. But you can see the log is right, let me find it, it's right here. And the water's going back towards the center of the channel. All right, here's the next log feature I was talking to you about. So we got a log here, we got a log over here, and then one that goes across the center. And you can see, zoom in here a bit. You can see right there how it's pushing it back to the center. We go over to this side, 
same thing. And now we're going to go up here to where that little waterfall is. I'm going to show you how that one's working. And we'll look at this. There's a mud seal over there along that edge. We're going to look at that. Stand by! Alright, here's a look. This is a pretty long mud seal. It's about 100 feet. So you can see how the water's flowing nice and gentle down along the edge of that. Okay, right here with this waterfall, so they made an elevation change here. So this drops probably, whew, I'd say three feet right here. Now over here, this is pretty high, so they ended up just using rocks right there. And then over on the other side of the creek, they put a log seal in, and you can see how it's flowing over back towards the center of the channel. Let's zoom in here a bit. Back towards the center of the channel to keep that bank from washing out. And now, same thing way up there. there they did another set. We're going to go up and look at that next. Here we go. Here's kind of a reverse view of what I just showed you. Just a really nice job. Everything looks good. And then I'll pan around here. That's where we're headed. This is too deep, so I gotta get out of the creek and go up around. Stand by. Okay, we're back up here to this log feature. I'm standing up on the bank. Now there's a log that runs the whole way up along there. And this is a pretty big elevation drop right here, which makes a nice hole here for the fish. I'll zoom in here a bit. Well, let's... Let me walk down. Okay. So this will give you a better look. This is kind of what it looks like from upstream. Look from downstream looking upstream. You can see right there again. Let me try and zoom in a bit. How the water has to go uphill. It doesn't like it and it forces it back to the center of the channel. And here is another picture of how it looks going downstream. This pole, it's going to wash out pretty good right here. And then as it goes down, it's going to be a really nice trout hole or fish habitat. This high water actually did me a favor because it's been raining up here and it's been raining up here in the far north for three to four days, I tell you. So it actually did me a favor because it's kind of carving out some of these holes for the fish a little bit. All right, I'm going to turn around. So there's another really nice hole right here. We're gonna go up here, there's a nice log seal, and I'll show you a picture from up there. I'm standing here at the, basically at the end of this. So this is probably at least 100 feet of logs here, the whole way up to there. Get my finger out so the focus works. This kind of gives you an idea. I'm just gonna walk up along here a little bit, as slow as I can, so you guys can Kind of see. Now, there's probably, you can't tell by camera, but this is, it's probably, it's at least three feet to the bottom of the creek bed from right here. Maybe a little higher, probably me 40 some inches or so. 
planted an apple tree right there. And then if you look upstream, so right up, right up here is where we're, we're headed to next. I'll go up and show you that one. All right, stand by. Okay, we made it up to the next one here. Now well, this is built up pretty high here. You can't tell by the camera, but it's, oh geez, it's probably whew, eight feet. Hi. Here's another log feature so you can see they did an elevation change right here. That's probably another three foot drop. Now the water hasn't come up through, pushed up this, probably because that elevation change, it's moving through there pretty fast. And I'll turn around and Show you that's kind of what it looks like from where we came from and right up here this is another really nice hole this piece over here get my finger out of there is where it had washed out like 30 feet of my bank or my field I lost all right let's go on up a little bit here we go okay so here's the one thing I was showing you just a second ago, we came from down there about as far as you can see. This is the piece right here that I lost like 30 feet of bank there. And this is the, see instead of using a log here, they use rocks. And that incline is probably, goes from creek level to eight feet. It's pretty, pretty high so the water's really got to work to be able to wash that out so what it'll want to do is it if it has to go up then it'll come over and back down in the stream you can kind of see I'll zoom in here a bit so right there there's two rocks right there where it's actually pushing it back in already and that'll create a little eddy there too which is good for the fish all right well so this is kind of what some more of it looks like you know I have a creek crossing right here that they left in there for me so we'll go on upstream here a bit uh, well before I do that I'll walk up here and get you a, another view hold on we're at my stream crossing here so right here you can just see the log going out and then there's one that goes across and then there's another log that goes up so this will hold all this all this will always stay filled in good because of that log out there that goes across which will keep my stream crossing good but I'm just going to show you view from upstream looking downstream this is one of my favorite favorite views I'll zoom in here a little bit here we go all right here's a view from downstream looking upstream from where I was just standing you can kind of see there's the next feature elevation change you can see the logs right there sorry about my finger water's flowing nice we'll go up and take a look at that one okay so this one here gives you a pretty good idea of how these things work and these guys did such a good job so right here they filled all this with the, this is all like a crick level so as this log goes up in elevation and of course they backfilled all that with stone there and then the same thing on the other side and there's a probably it's another three foot elevation drop here but you can see right here how the water, so 
So the creek's right there. The water's coming down. It wants to go this way, but it has to go up in elevation. It can't, so it pushes it back towards the center. And then this side over here, zoom in a little bit. So there you can see how that's working. And this, this is going to be a nice hole for the fish too. But that's what it looks like looking upstream to downstream. So this is downstream looking upstream. We're going to go clean up there where it all started. And we'll get some, get a look and see what that looks like. Zoom in here a little bit. It's weird because when you're filming, it looks closer than what it is. Alright, here we go. Alright, if you watched any of the Stream Improvement Project series here, this should look familiar to you. This is where it all started. So they put a, a rock vein in up here. They open it up this channel quite a bit. This is this is bank is all. I'm probably standing, geez, nine, ten feet off the ground here. That's how steep that bank is. This is all reinforced with big limestone, and right here is the first log feature. It's a really good example of how they work. You can see on both sides how it's pushing that water back towards the center of the channel. And right there in the middle, where it looks real swift, so that's going to dig out a nice little hole there for the fish. That gives you a pretty good idea of what's gotten done here. So far. All right, folks. Well, it's getting looking like it's going to rain, and uh, I'm away far from home here. So that'll give you an update on everything up to this point. Like I said, it's been raining for I don't know four or five days straight, and it's supposed to rain couple more days yet up here in the northeast so uh, I don't anticipate them coming back probably till Thursday or Friday and even then it's still gonna be pretty muddy so I don't really think they're gonna be able to do much but I'll uh, I'll do another video as soon as they come back and I have something different to show you uh, since the water was high it gave me a pretty good opportunity to show you how what they did as far as the log structures and stuff work. Uh, anybody can apply for funding to do this if you have uh, wetlands or stream front. I would encourage you to do it. It is a long process, but if you just stick to it, it's a little bit of paperwork and some time. Um, you can you can get it done of course the government doesn't make anything easy so you can anticipate that but for now that's it everything's greening up I'm glad it's spring looking forward to some warmer weather here coming so God bless each and every one of you keep us in your prayers we'll see you on the next one don't forget to like subscribe I appreciate it